can mean lost time, lost tempers, and lost strokes. With your new Gopher Golf Ball Finder, you may never lose a golf ball again. With a little practice and the information of this video, you could soon be an expert in the use of this remarkable device. Anyone can find a golf ball fast with the Gopher, even a child. It's so easy to use, and it works. In the next few minutes, you'll see how the gopher works. Be sure to follow the instructions carefully. some gimmicks in your life, but tell me what in the world this is. Tell and me. you got a ball? Yeah. Toss I that ball. ball. Toss that ball out there. Okay. Just toss it over Just here. Just toss it out, out, out okay. there anywhere. Now what this does is when you use it, it works on a static charge. Okay. And you don't have to breathe on it. Right. You hold it, you in, your hand, hold hold it in your hand and you walk with this. And when your shoulder hits that golf ball over yonder, you're using your body as an antenna okay. to enhance this. When it hits the antenna, you want to hold it about like this at a five degree angle. Uh -huh. Breathe normally and walk slowly. And when your shoulder gets directly across from that ball, you see this antenna start to swing. Mm -hmm. Now you tow it into your body just a little bit. To now, hold it. See, you have a very delicate signal. Now, let me ask you something. Sure. On either side, will it pick up on either side of me? It will not give you a direction. You have to know whether the golf ball is on your left or on your right. It's so with what you do is you can walk directly uh, parallel to that ball. And, and when your shoulder hits it, it this antenna will swing to the left or the right. It I can get swing either okay, way. Okay, that's, that's the thing I was right. asking. Mm -hmm. it, will it go right or left? Right, it'll go either way. Okay. It's, it's whichever way you tilt the, the machine, you're overcoming the gravity on one side because we're using single soul magnetics. Suppose I'm walking right toward the ball and when I'm going to just right over, over it, it'll lock right on top of it. Is that right? Right. If you have okay. this balance. Now what I'd like for you to do is you know where that ball is. I know I where it is. To see in relation to your body when this antenna swings when it comes around. Okay. All right. When this antenna comes around, when you're walking, now you have to continue walking until it comes parallel to your body. Okay. When it's in this position, then your ball is just off your shoulder over here. But I don't know how far. Do I know how don't far? Don't how is. far. And then I'll teach you when you hit that line. I'll show you how to find the ball from there. Okay. So you just want to walk. This is the green. This is the green here. So I'm going to walk in the woods. This direction. Right. Okay. okay. Now you go right ahead and walk down. And just and just walk normal. Hit. Walk normal. And breathe normal. And keep the antenna balanced. In front of you. Keep it as close to parallel as you can get it to the ground. And, and when your shoulder hits it, carry a little lock on it. Okay, Carol, what you do now, you've got a lock on the ball with your shoulder. Now, what you do is just take one or two steps forward this way, turn parallel to your line and walk until it locks again. And when it locks again, you should be beside your ball. And then you can walk right into it and lock again. Okay, let's see what happens. Got a little wind, but that doesn't make any difference. Now you turn it and walk directly into your ball now, see? Okay. You move now, off your line. Now, it should be right here, right? Right. Now, I'm going to walk right towards it, right towards it. Keep it balanced and, and breathe normal. Don't hold too back. Now I got my foot right on. Yeah. 
Following the basics of the Golf Locator 3-Lock system will help you find your ball quickly and more accurately. First, face the general direction of your lost ball at point A. Then, walk three to four steps towards the area and begin a slow circle to the right. Breathe normally and hold the locator straight forward and parallel to the ground. When the antenna swings, note the direction of your shoulders at point B1. Then, take two to three steps from that line to point B2 and walk parallel with that line. When the antenna locks again at point C1, turn 90 degrees and walk slowly. You should now be facing the ball. Now walk very slowly, and when the antenna swings once more, you should be directly on top of your ball at point C2. Hey, I tell I'm hitting the ball. It's behind you somewhere. You got it hit. I want you to find it. Now, to find that ball, uh, you, it's somewhere out there. It'll be somewhere in this range. Right. So what I want you to do this time is take four or five steps forward like this, make a gradual turn, breathe normal, and when you hit the ball, it'll lock right on top of it. Okay. Try it. Right. <coughs> Perfect balance. Now, go ahead and make your circle slowly. Keep it balanced. When it locks, stop. All right, stop. And when it's parallel to your body, you're good. All right. Side of this line. I'm going okay. to take a couple steps this way. Yeah. And then go. Now walk straight down. I don't even know where the ball is myself. Breathe on. Oh, hey. Stop. Now you're on top of your ball. That damn thing. Look down under your feet and find your ball. There it is. Right on top of it. How does that work? It's hard to believe. Yeah. When the antenna starts coming in, you can tilt your this down and you can feel it pulling up once it starts coming. All right, there's there's a question that I'd like for you to answer for. Okay. What draws this to the rubber ball? Let me let me ask you, let me even sure. go farther. You know, in, in golf ball, you've got a, a solid ball, you got a two-piece ball, you got a wound ball. Right. Okay. Is there any difference? Will this pick up any kind of ball, golf ball that's made? This will pick up any golf ball made. It won't pick that up. No, nothing but a golf ball. In other words, golf only ball the, to the, the material that's used in a golf, in ball, a golf ball is all that's going to send back a message. That's right. It's all no, but it draw. doesn't matter whether it's a, a wound ball, no. a two-piece ball, a quarter, or whatever you have. It doesn't matter. Not a bit. Carol, take that ball and toss it out next to that sand trap over there. Okay. Now what it does, when you come around, it'll pick up the nearest ball to you. Now this will pick up any ball. In any, words, any golf ball. Right. It, it slices a ball. And in other words, there's only got to be one ball in an area lost over right, there. Right, right. And it will, it will find your ball quicker than it will find any other ball out there. Because if you use it to find just local balls on the golf course, it will detect uh, 200 yards. Oh, really? Yes. The longer you use it, the stronger the frequency is and the further it reaches out, all around you. And when that sho your shoulder, left or right shoulder, hits the ball, uh, what happens is it locks on it. Now to find uh, just individual balls that you don't know whose they are, uh, you would have to, to triangulate. In other words, you'd get a shot from here and you've got a line yonder. So you'd walk over there 50 feet and you'd get a shot from there and your shoulder would line up it and you could triangulate and tell about where that ball is on the fairway. Mm -hmm. And so you, instead of having to cover that whole district, you can walk most of the way to it before you line up.
When you are not sure how far away your ball is, triangulate. Here's how. First, find the first line leading to your ball as shown before, moving from point A to point B1. Note your line. Then take 10 to 20 steps off that line to point B2 and walk again in a slow circle to point C1 and get your second line. Where the imaginary triangular lines meet is where your ball is hiding. Finally, take two to three steps away from your last line to point C2 and walk parallel with that line just as we showed you before to point D1, then to point D2, and there's the ball. Supposing I go on the, right in this line on All the right, right side. Well, what would happen is it would lock and it would be on your right. Okay. Can but I do that? You can do that, but the best way to do it is keep your body and the antenna on the far side of your body. Okay. In other words, I need to go this way. Right. Right. Now, you've got triangulation. Say you didn't know where that ball was, Captain. All right. You've got a line here. So if you walk over here, say 30 feet, and shoot another line, these lines will come in like this. Then I'll have an idea. You know where your ball is. Come on, I'll show you. Okay. Now, you do the same thing here that you did over there. You face the direction you think your ball is in a half circle. Okay. And just make a, a slow circle around to your left. To your right. To my right. Right. Okay. Breathe normal. I try to keep this thing straight. That's all I right. I try to keep it out here, right? Right. That's right. Just breathe normal. That's all you have to do. See, you're creating that static charge and you're creating a wave. That's all right. Keep walking till it hits. Go ahead. All right. So what you have to do, you don't have to start walking here. You can get on down here of where these points come in. Okay. Anytime you want to find out where that golf ball is out there, and you're walking parallel to this line, all you have to do is walk and make a slight turn to the right until it locks again, and you should be on your ball, so you'll know where it is. Okay. Right. All right. Just make a little slight turn, breathing on. That's all right. Keep walking until it hits it. It'll, now, where, when that antenna stops, that's where it is. See? Okay, it's pointing right. Okay. Right in that direction. All right, now, now you come around from out yonder to here. So you start right here and just make a little circle again and catch it again. Make a little circle. Whoa. All right, now, uh oh. If you're not sure where it's locking, throw it out now. It's all right. You just keep walking until you hit it, though. There, you just hit it. See? Right there. Okay. Now, this time you can walk into your ball, see, you're close enough. And you can just walk right into it, keep perfect balance, and it should lock. And it should back come and back and hit right you ball any pass. It is. Yeah. It, it locked right when I took one step past. Yeah, that's right. That's hard to believe. Yeah. That's hard to believe. Yep. Yeah. All right, let me ask you this. All right. Can I put this ball, do you think you can find it, if I take it over there and cover it up with a leaf? I think you can find it. You think I can find sure. it? Sure. Well, then you're going to have to take it and, and go. Cover, cover it up with a leaf over there, and I'm going to turn around, then I'm going to... Will the trees, anything bother? Not a thing. Nothing will bother. All right, you take it on the other side of this mound I'll do and, it. and have it completely covered. I'll do it. You and I'm going to see, see if I can find it. Good enough. Yeah. A good way to do Don't tell me where you've got to put it. I put it between that tree over there and these T markers over here. Good Anywhere in there. I don't want to know any general idea. Good enough. Go ahead and hide it, and then I'll come back. Good enough. It's not over it's here. Dark. No, it's somewhere out here. It's not in the woods here. No, it's somewhere out over, over this side. Out in here. This side. So, if I start from here, you should hit it every time. I should be able to go around in a half moon and hit it. And it should pick it up. Right. All right, let's find out if it works. Breathe normally.
Now, what you need to do, you know it's not a long distance from it. Woods. In the woods. And what you're doing is you've gone to the general railway. You know about where the ball is, but you don't know where it is. Okay. So you've got a line, and it goes this way. Okay. I know the ball's in this direction right, right now. So all you want to do is get on this side of that line. Okay. And walk down parallel to that line until it locks. Okay. Take your time. Bring it on. All right, I'm going to go in this direction until it locks. When I come back and touch my shoulder, All right, that, that means pass it and it's back that way. So what okay. you do is turn around. Now, I, how about if I go this way? Try. All right, you've got a lock, so it goes this way. Now it's going this way. I'm walking until it locks it. Uh. Right, you've got a lock. The way your shoulders are pointing. Right here. Right. So what you want to do is walk now parallel you know, this way. Yeah, there's a ditch there, so you, you've got to walk parallel. Complete balance and breathe on. And it locks, stop. Whoa, there we go, a lock. Now I'll turn toward that direction and walk until it locks again. You're doing good. Yeah. Bring it on. All right, you passed it. See, knock you on your shoulder. All right, so it's got to be right behind you now. All right. There's your ball. You right down here? Yeah. No. All right. Pretty close. I want to introduce you to this. You can take your golf uh, cart, use your machine in your golf cart. If you've knocked anything over into the grass or the woods off the green, when you ride by, that antenna will lock right on it. Your ball. When I ride by any ball in that area, it will lock on it. See? By you just balancing it and riding. See, you recruit, you're creating a static charge by moving forward. You have to move. And nothing in this cart, the, the no, uh, no, aluminum, nothing will affect will it. Will not affect it, and no balls on this cart, as long as it's moving with you, will affect it. In other words, all it will pick up is golf ball signals out to your left or right, across your shoulders. Doesn't matter which way. Don't matter which way. But you said one thing a while ago, and I'm still a little not clear on it. Does this work more efficiently from the left than it does from the right? No. It no. will work either way. Either way. But to the average person, when something turns into the body, they will naturally say, well, this is the way. But on this line, it can turn right or left. Okay. The antenna can swing right or left. Doesn't make any difference. When it swings, it's on the line. And if you pass it, it'll come back and it'll lock on the shoulder. Either way. Right. It can lock either Turn way. Turn you around. In other words, once it gets past parallel, you'll pass the other. Okay. All right, so what we'll do is go up yonder and then we'll come back and make a swing and catch the ball as we go by. Let me ask you one thing. All right. Could you go, could you shoot dove with this? Oh, uh, not quite yet. <laughs> See, that thing swung around there. Yeah. You've probably caught another golf ball over there. Let's we'll see. Okay. We'll try another run.
So just make a little circle in here. Oh, there. okay. Let it lock when it wants Okay. To. Okay. No, you can come by here close if you want to again until you catch it wherever it is. Alright. Because I really don't know where it is myself. You want to back up a little further. See where the antenna is pointing. Look where it is. Where you know. Okay, you're on the line. See when it starts turning? Yeah. Like this. Until you hit that line. Until. And hold this out. Right. Or you can come on the other side and catch it from the other side and see where it is in the air. See? Perfect balance and breathe. So you, you, you just passed it. There it is. That's it. That's it. I'm, uh, he's thinking. I'm starting to believe. <laughs> I'm starting to believe. It, it does miracles. And I'm really not thoroughly convinced, but it's got me on the track that I think it, it's doing something. All right. It's doing something. Now, if I don't. Now, there's one thing that you got to you got to realize. I'm sure that once you use this for a while, if it works like we think it works, uh, it'll only be a matter of what a minute before you find your ball. You know sure, that's right. You know you gotta the apply more you. Hey, you can only look for a ball five minutes. That's right. Then you got to move on. That's right, Cal. Now, I looked here for, a, I don't know how many minutes it was. It did Probably three minutes. Maybe three or four minutes. Uh -huh. But I would think that the more you get used to using this, the quicker you can locate the ball. That's right. Even if it's four or five balls out there, you locate them and look. And do that circle and, 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 and line up on those balls and you'll have them. And you can pick out your ball out of the box. Uh-huh. You, know. you mean, in other words, you would find all four balls, yeah. but at least you one find your own. Be your own. One of them right. would be yours. And by knowing the proximity the ball went in, you're not limited to searching the whole area. That's right. Just this one area. You, usually, if you lose a ball in the rough, you know within, I would say, within 20 yards. Right. That would be the maximum. 20-yard radius, you'd know that your ball was in that area. Right. That's exactly right. I assume there's no golf ball in that area. Right. If I walk down here now, will it lock on anything? No. Right. If I don't... You can keep the golf ball in your hand. I don't... I, I can keep anything it in my Anything with you doesn't... That's traveling the same speed as you, it won't be. In other words, if there isn't a ball in there, it will not lock. This shouldn't lock. No, sir. kind of balls. In other words, I could pick them up from right. far away. Uh -huh. just, just walk out that way and see how many times you lost between here and 30 feet. To neutralize this, all you do is drop it down by your side and point it toward the earth and then drain that static charge out. You do what now? To neutralize this from picking up this golf ball. Okay. All you have to do is put it down by your side and hold it. Let me for see. about 20 seconds. In other words, you just drop it down there and then aim with no arm. Don't have to have a golf ball. In other words, you're, you're draining the static charge oh, out oh, of this. Oh, so you, you can start over and forget about this ball. Oh, I got you. Right. I got to take you. that memory out. So, in other words, just hold it down like yeah. that. See, once it locks on the ball, it won't change balls on you. You have to find that ball. Or you, you have to drain the power out of it. See? I see. I right. see. Or it'll stay locked on that ball, and as you are searching for this ball, uh, it'll stay on it instead of jumping from ball to ball. See, let me show you. Let me have that ball. Just throw it out there like this. And then when you walk by it and it locks, 
it'll lock on. As long as you keep that antenna up parallel, you won't drain your static charge. You can walk over here and swim around and it'll still lock on that ball and not one out there. Well now, will it work now and lock on that ball? Yeah, yes. That'll be probably your closest target. See, that's your closest target. Now, uh, anywhere you go out here to lock on that ball, as long as you keep the antenna parallel. Yep, it'll lock on it as you come around to it. As your shoulder hits it, walk in up. Anyway, your shoulder has to hit it. Just keep walking until it locks. That's right there, right off the right. shoulder. If you do an octagon again and go this way, it'll hit it again. See, and not hit it again. Without draining your antenna. Damn for dumb. But the whole key is to keep this as near parallel as and you balance. can. That's right. But do you try to fight it and keep it? I mean, do you yes, try you to keep it straight? you can try to fight it. In other words, once that antenna starts to turn it, Carol, once it starts turning, you can push down on it and it'll still climb as you walk. Try. Keep it parallel until it starts coming around and then you can push down on it and you can see the antenna coming up. Keep it parallel until you do it. Parallel. Until it starts locking, then push down on it. Now, you can push down a little bit and keep walking. You see, it'll still come around. See? It'll climb on it. Yeah. Points right to it. understand it. I don't claim to understand it, but it does it does what you say it'll do. It'll actually turn and lock on that golf ball. I'd like to show you the basics of to use the golf ball golf, it's very simple. Uh, you have the handheld unit to, to activate this unit. All you have to do is hold the swivel with your thumb and forefinger, bring the antenna out to a 90 degree angle and extend it at its full length. Drop it down by your side and now we're ready to locate golf balls. Uh, I have a golf ball in my pocket. What I'll do is just toss the golf ball out. What you do to find that golf ball is you turn in the general direction you've lost your ball in if you, if you sliced it or if you hooked it. Walk toward the general direction and then make a slow turning arc to the left or right until the antenna locks. And when that antenna locks, your shoulder should be directly on the ball. If you uh, think the ball is within 30 or 40 feet of you, you can just take a few steps over, parallel the line that you've gotten with your shoulders, walk down that parallel line, do not cross it until it locks again, and when that antenna locks, take a 90 degree turn, you should be facing your ball, move forward, and when the antenna locks again, you should be directly over your ball, walk slowly, if you pass the ball, the antenna will hit you on the shoulder. Another way to get the location of a ball is you must triangulate if you cannot see that ball. And the way to triangulate, you face the general direction your ball was lost in. Take two or three steps forward. Make that arc a slow, smooth arc to the left or right until the antenna locks. And when that antenna locks, your shoulder should be directly on the ball. Take one or two steps over. Again, we're going to do the parallel. Walk down the line until the shoulder locks on the target again. Not the antenna, the shoulder. When it locks, 90 degrees, 
turn into the ball, walk forward, and when it locks again, you should be directly over your ball. Now I'll do it from the other side so you can see it from both directions. Face the general direction of the ball. Take four or five steps forward, small, smooth arc to the right until the antenna locks. When the antenna locks, move over one, two steps. Stay parallel to the line you just shot. Do not cross it. Walk until the antenna locks again. If you're off two or three steps, it doesn't make any difference. When the antenna locks, your shoulder should be directly on the ball. 90 degrees, walk until it locks again, and when it locks again, you should be directly over the ball. Now, we would like to do one other. We're going to do the uh, uh, triangulation of a ball. If you say your ball is hidden, and I'll hide this ball, I'm, in other words, just so I can see it. I'll just put something over it. We're going to walk away from this ball. You could have done, you could have lost this ball with a, a slice or you could have lost it with a foot. What we're going to do is face the general direction. You can drive your golf cart, cart up to it if you want to. Locate it, the general direction with the golf cart, pass it, and then get out of the golf cart and walk in the general direction parallel to the ball. So you just take two or three steps forward, gradually make the nice curve to the right or left and when the antenna locks you should be directly on your ball you don't know how far the ball is you just got a line so you would pick your target out over yonder uh, say the trees over yonder take the tree by the pine and this would be our line so I would move over two three four five steps and do a triangulation face the line you just passed make that uh, nice smooth arc until the antenna locks again. When it locks again, your shoulder should be directly on the ball. Take two or three steps over, walk parallel to that line until you hit a line again. When you hit this line, your shoulder should be directly on the ball again. Turn 90 degrees and walk into the ball until it locks. And that's it.